Welcome to another video on Airscape second generation controls. Today we're going to look at the Safe Speed Kit. Uh, Safe Speed Kit is a unique product to Airscape controls. Um, it slows down or even shuts down the fan in response to the pressure within your house being too low or too negative. Uh, so if you don't have any windows open and you're running your fan or you don't have enough windows open, uh, these controls will reduce the speed of the fan or even shut it down. Now let's go ahead and open the box and see what comes with the package. Okay, so here we go. You have the actual sensor with the wiring already attached. You've got pressure tubing for uh, for the low and high side, so for the outdoor tubing and the indoor tubing as well. Some grommets and of course the installation manual. The DPS sense, this is the actual pressure sensing uh, element sensor that comes with the kit. I'll take the cover off for you. Uh, it's got a little screw there that holds the cover in place. Uh, adjustment knobs for the setting, we recommend do not touch it. It's already pre-wired, so don't touch the wiring as well. Uh, you've got two pressure ports on the sensor. Um, with this the bottom one here is for the outside pressure sensing. And the inner one is for, if you take a little cover off, this one here is for the uh, for the inner, for the house pressure. Well, we have to wire the sensor in. We're gonna wire that in on P6 over here. This is P6, and I'm gonna turn the power off to the controller. Make sure we've got no power there, but that's P6 right there. Uh, terminals three and four, okay. So you have to route it into the box and make sure you use the grommets provided with the kit to make sure you don't uh, damage the wires on the sharp edges of the knockout. And there we go, we've got the DPS sensor wired in. Uh, the red wire is on P6 number three and the black wire on P6 number four. There you go. Next thing you wanna make, make sure you do is you take dip switch number five and you flip it to the down position just like that. So it's gotta be in a down position. Uh, if it's not, even though you have your sensor hooked up to the control board, it will not be operational. Now let's talk about how to mount the sensor. You want to make sure it's mounted in a vertical orientation just like this. So it cannot be lying down, it can't be flipped sideways, it's got to be perfectly vertical with the ports, the connection ports facing downwards. So let's go ahead and see how the safe speed actually works. Um, I have a demo controller here with a safe speed control package attached. And here is my web interface. You have a 4.4e uh, fan running at speed number four right now. <clears throat> and I'm gonna go ahead and simulate a low pressure within the house or a high negative pressure. Um, if we look at the fan web interface, you can see that we've gone from speed number four down to speed number three and we have a message there reduced by pressure control and you can see the same thing on our iPad interface there we go speed number three reduced by pressure control so now every 30 seconds the safe speed controls are going to look at that pressure and if the pressure continues to be very low within the house so high negative pressure within the house there it is it just reduced the speed down to speed number two and again we have the message reduced by pressure control and if I, re if I refresh my phone interface, you can see the same, same reading. Speed number two, reduced by pressure control. If you look at your web interface and you see a speed of zero and the reduced by pressure control message, you know that safe speed shut down your whole house fan. Um, to restart it, go ahead and press the up arrow for speed number one like you normally would. And you can see on our fan, the message has cleared and we're waiting for doors to open. And since our pressure is really normal in the house, you can go ahead and use a fan like you normally would. Controls the speeds. There you go, speed number two. And that's the safe speed package. Thanks for watching.